Adventures. This is Joe from Art Alien TV and ArtAlien.tv. Come along and check out my website. There's a link near the top of the description for this website. And you can see all my latest stuff here. And this goes into a lot more detail about what these things are and where to find them. And there's all sorts of things on here, like tutorials you can watch about how to work with these images and how to find these things and what some of these things are and how they relate to each other. I've gone to great lengths here to actually categorize all these things into simple categories like objects, boats, writing, that kind of thing, tombs, skulls and, and uh, sphinxes, buildings, whatever. They're all categorized so you can compare them to each other easily back to back, okay? Now today I'm just gonna show you this set of images here. This is from the Perseverance Rover and this is Sol 724. Now you need to type the little number in there and here and then press Supercam, right? Supercam Remote Micro Imager. This is used for taking close-ups of the grain for studying the geology up close, okay, generally. But sometimes it will zoom into the background and take long zoom shots as well. But today it's looking at the ground and looking closely at some of the things on the ground, some of these boulders and pebbles and rocks and other things. Now the ones we want are the, the bottom four here. One, two, three, four. What I did, I got these four here. This is the, the main one. Uh, there's actually, let's get a full caption here. Let's get a bit bigger. There's a skull right there, okay? And it's really close to the rover, or at least it's zoomed into it, right? Let me show you with the magnifier. There it is. You can see the cranium here. Forehead, nose, chin, teeth, and an eye there. Now, this is really old, I would say. Probably a million years old. I would say it could be, it could only be 100,000 years old. But I'm, I'm guessing it's a lot older. It looks like it's kind of mineralized and literally fossilized, right? Now, I've, I've gone into great lengths before about how this happens on Mars because of the, the low oxygen, almost no mo moisture whatsoever, and the various things in the soil or sand which help these things happen. So there are plenty of videos on that that you can see on my channel about how these things are done. Um, I'll put a link to one of those at the end, okay? Now, let's look at it in here. Now, what I normally do with these is stitch them together into little panoramics uh, and sometimes very large panoramics, okay? And that's what I've done here. Here we have it. Now, this is three of the images stitched together with the skull here and this rather strange rock with a crest on it here, all right? This is raw, nothing done to this. There's been no processing on that apart from stitching them together. When you get all four, you get this weird thing crop up, which is on one of the images, right? Which is like a weird barcode. Now, I've never seen this before. In all my years doing Mars images, I've never seen one of these, I don't think. Now, this may be a fault or it may be a marker so that the people at JPL or at NASA will take note of it and then investigate this further because I've, ne I've never seen this before it's weird it's like some weird barcode it's got this grid on it here and a, a sort of barcode behind it just there you can see like a barcode pattern it's very strange it's like a digital marker or something I don't know perhaps some of you out there might know what this is it's very strange there it is you can see it pretty clearly even in this raw image that hasn't had any contrast added you can see what it is you can see the nose the mouth the chin and the head coming round, which is heavily pitted but much like some of the others i've shown it's got all this pitting in it now we we don't know exactly what their bones were like or their bone structures were like because we haven't examined them up close i.e we haven't dissected them or taken samples from them and actually studied them but i would gather that they're not quite the same as ours right being from Mars, they're probably different, right? Some of them are probably very similar, but the actual bone structure itself may be quite different to ours. 
and uh, that may explain why these things survive and the skulls are left around for so long on the ground also okay I've got it up in here in my graphics processor this is the raw image now all you need to do with this is rotate it and then add contrast which I'm going to do now minus 15 plus 15 so that's minus 15 brightness plus 15 contrast do that three or four times then you need to white balance it which is what I'm doing now just to cool it down there we are simple as that I'll probably go a bit darker let's go another one really bring the shadows out there we are and now you can see that eye there and you can see the nose where there's, there's a kind of nostril very small nostril there and you can see some teeth here right let's go a bit darker there you can really see the eye there and the shadow under the nose and you can see these teeth here right so that's how I do it I've got one I've already done behind this which has been color balanced or white balanced a bit more so it's slightly less brown basically it's a skull I can't really see what else it could be um, it's pretty obvious when you see it you've got the eye there obviously a nose a very rounded nose we have a chin here and when you go in close you can actually see teeth here which are kind of like this right and obviously the the cranium comes right round and we got this pitting and texture to it cheekbone here right There it is. I mean, what what can I say? There is some inner eye detail there as well. It's completely fossilized. Well, mineralized, then fossilized. Let's take all that off. You can see it pretty clearly. Once you realize what it is, you can't really unsee it, right? And uh, what the clincher for it for me, when I saw it in the raw image, were the teeth. Now, that's one thing I always go for. If you see a, a jaw with teeth sticking out, what we have here. All right, then it's probably a skull. And no doubt there would be a bunch of Paradonia police out there who would demand that it's not. People who've done no research saying, no, it's not a skull, it's just Paradonia. Yeah, well, they learn a new word and then they repeat it ad nauseum, okay? unbelievable these people uh there is i suppose uh, quite a, a lot of cases where some of these things just look a bit like something i admit that of course but if you if you look at my channel and the number of these i've shown already hundreds you know you, you you've got to sort of think well hang on a minute maybe this guy's got something here right so just cut me some slack okay you can see the detail you can see the eye you can see the nose you can see the chin and you can even see teeth detail here sticking out they're, they're rather weird shape these teeth and there seems to be one there as well it's like it looks like the jaws kind of collapsed and broken a bit you can see that detail there right okay that's what it is uh, I'd say it's pretty unlikely this is just an optical illusion because we have a perfect shaped skull which was elongated but not that some of them that I've seen are like this I mean they're ridiculous this one's a bit more sensible I would say and a bit more within the bounds of what we recognize as as a normal skull okay uh, but there are lots that I've shown which have got huge long great big craniums that go right back and uh, they're pretty insane looking this one is relatively simple and relatively normal um, and you can even see, if, like if you look closely, you can see there's eye detail in here. Right? You can actually see it. Sometimes you can see the detail better from a bit further back, like we can here. So you can see that eye much more clearly when you get back from the screen a bit, or back from the image. And as you get closer, it's a bit harder to focus on it, right? 
There it is there. This is enhanced. And this, this rock in front is really weird. It's got this weird crest on the back and going, going up over the back. Almost like it's a helmet or something. Really weird. Um, so there it is. You can see it pretty clearly from that distance. And uh, there's the raw one. That's how I spotted it in the raw image. And it was those teeth that I spotted. And I thought, is that, is that a skull? If I ever see anything that kind of shape, I always look at it up close. Because it's the head shape. As simple as that. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. You don't need to be from the government to confirm that. You can confirm these things yourself if you find multiples of the same thing in the same area, then they're real, okay? Simple as that. And it only takes one of these to be real for the whole thing to be an actual science here, right? And I've proved hundreds of times before that these things are. Um, there's another better enhancement. Contrast has been turned up higher on this one. And you can see that eye, you can see the nose, you can see the teeth there and the chin, quite clearly. Okay, there's that one. This one's not as dark. Still see it. Here's a real close-up. There we are. I'll put clips of these in anyway, and there will be a gigapan of these as well. I'll put multiple clips on there, and I'll have the raw and the enhanced gigapans together, including this one, with this, this weird, what looks like some kind of digital marker on here. Why would they put that there, right next to it, do you think? Perhaps that the people at NASA have been studying these things all along, just as I have. But they keep it a secret, and I don't, right? So we don't need these people to confirm these things. You can confirm these things yourself. And when you have things like this, this was found about a mile of, or so away from where we are today, maybe two, in Jazeera Crater. Perseverance Rover, Sol 184. Okay? Now, when you look at that, right, do you need someone in a white coat from NASA or an unelected stick man like Sunak to confirm what it is? No, you do not. Now, when I say dragon, right, it's a type of lizard. It's a carving of a type of lizard like a dragon, it seems to have wings coming around here. And you've even got claw detail here, just here, right? Obviously you do get objects that are quite ambiguous. And sometimes, you know, you might think, well, okay, there are a lot of layers in this rock, in this area. This is a recent video, the last video. But look at that. Look at this, this part on the end. Perfectly square, just here with this angled part on it. So, who knows? I mean, this may just be part of the, the sedimentary rock behind that's broken off. But it's just too perfect, and a lot of these things are. And of course, they may be altering some of these images as well. We have to, have to take that into account. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.